right back. Stella Line is down um, 16 euro return foot passengers over to Hollyhead and back. And uh, it was a popular thing years ago, everyone going over doing the booze cruise. Now, if you're like me and you're not drinking, you can park, there's limited parking at the port, and it costs 9 euro for 24 hours. Uh, if you're planning on drinking, like a lot of you probably will, the, you can get a bus from Connolly Station and it drops you down to the port. It's three euro each way. And uh, there's duty free on board. If you're bringing the kids, there's uh, three little cinema rooms. I think there could be four, but I only seen the three. Um, show movies 10 minutes after leaving port. Um, like I said, there's the duty free there. Most of the things seem to be in sterling, so just be prepared for that. And uh, there's loads of lounges, there's food, has little calves. And then you can have a walk around if it's a nice day like this, you, you can get out on deck. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite cool. 16 euro return, if nothing to do, it's a day out. Well, have a look around. So, once on board, there's some bars, cafes and restaurants and places to chill out. The only downside is there are people that are selfishly take up two seats or three seats lying across them. And this happens quite a bit on the ferry. Um, generally, the ship is good and clean and you have to pay in sterling. So that's just one to keep in mind. On the old Bill's Cruise years ago, there used to be a disco floor where people would be up dancing. But there's no sign of that this time around, in case you're looking for it. But what there is, there is a game in area. There's a little kind of a casino for adults and then plenty of little arcade games for kids to play to keep them occupied. And there is another play area for the kids as well, like climbing things. And as I said, there's the cinema. There's three screens, and um, there's little vending machines outside them. And of course, what a lot of people come for, the duty-free shopping. Just be aware of your limits, it's there in the signs, so you're not stopped that duty's getting off. So, once you reach Hollyhead, they ask you as a foot passenger to wait for some of the, the trucks and cars to be cleared so they can allow a bus on. You go down the green staircase to deck five, and there there'll be a bus waiting for you to take you into Hollyhead. Once in Hollyhead, so you take the green stairs down to deck five and then you get the bus that brings you into Wales, Hollyhead. Once in Hollyhead, you cross over the pedestrian bridge. There's a good few shops in Hollyhead and it's changed a lot since I was last here. I particularly enjoyed visiting this church. I think it's 18 years or so since I was in Hollyhead. There wasn't much in it then. Actually seems to be less than it now. Strange. I actually thought to be a lot more shops in Hollyhead than I remembered from before. But with the fluctuation of prices between over the years for foot passengers, maybe a lot of the shops have died away. But there's plenty of other things to be seen and doing in Hollyhead. One thing we particularly enjoyed doing was going down to Chip or Chip. We got ourselves some chips there and I have to say they are lovely. Well worth a visit if you go. So, after having a look around, we only had about two hours before the ferry was to return. So, we headed back to the port. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
So that was it. Uh, Fizzer, and we were on our way back to Dublin. So just to recap, if you do decide to go, there's limited parking as you can see here. You want to get yourself to this terminal. And there is pay parking if you're just going on a day trip over and back, it costs us nine euro. And um, you go to the machine, you have to add up the hours to get it up to nine, uh, the, sorry, the nine euro for 24 hours. Or if you want, you can take the bus from Conley Station. It's three euro each way. So there are your options. There you have it, Bill's Cruise, your bus and all back to Connolly. When you come back on your other side, the passports and stuff are checked, not checked going over. So, just so you know, it's back on in case there's an interesting go. Thanks for watching.